of course, a sad reality in California's history is that the great extensive stands of coast redwood, which is the tree that we see around us, were very heavily logged. So we're actually in a satellite part of the property in the Redwood Grove. And the Redwood Grove was a plantation, and so the trees that you see all around us were put in at the same time as young trees in the 1930s. And this is an extraordinary living collection. We think of this garden as being a living museum. So looking around, you notice this kind of dense, shaggy bark and they have a bark that serves as protection. It's very what we call tannin rich, and that's a chemical that helps deter pests and pathogens. And so that protects the tree as it grows, and it also serves as a pretty effective insulation against fire damage. And the other feature that's often referred to as being a, a very unique and special feature of these trees is their capacity to take in moisture from the leaves or through the leaves from the atmosphere. And so in addition to the heavy precipitation that happens through parts of the year, there's also a lot of moisture that condenses or can be captured from the atmosphere in the, term, in the form of fog or mist. So they have, as you'd imagine for such giant trees, very extensive root systems. They also are very effective at tapping or accessing surface moisture for the plants that grow underneath these giant trees. It's almost a desert-like environment in terms of the water or moisture profile. So there is a lot of photographic evidence to document that there were these massive trees that were felled across the state. So trees that were upwards of a thousand years old that were cleared to fuel the big building boom in this state and beyond. One thing I would encourage anyone who comes to visit the garden to do, particularly in the hot summer months, is to make sure they save some time at the end of their visit to visit this part of the garden, the Redwood Grove. It's almost like walking into an air-conditioned space, and it's sort of a thrilling transition to come from the hot sun into this cool, welcoming space.